So the next part in our quest to download Windows 11 onto an older laptop is to get a copy of the Windows 11 ISO. And to do that, just go into um, Google, type in Windows 11 ISO, and you'll come to the Windows 11 download page, the official one from Microsoft. Now, you've got two options for downloading the ISO image. First of all is this section here which will just download the ISO um, straight away. Or you've got this one here. Um, and I use this one here about using the installation media because actually it's slightly quicker and the file is slightly smaller than this option here. Don't ask me why, it just is. So all we would do here is just click on download and there you go, you can see that I've downloaded it multiple times. And we're gonna say yes, we want it to start working. And then we're just gonna click on accept. And then I'm just going to accept those, use those um, options there. That's fine. And on this section here, you want to do the ISO file. We don't want to do the USB flash drive. We want to do the ISO file. And it will be obvious why we want to just do the ISO file um, in the next stage of the installation. But at this point, just trust me and select that. Right, I want it to store. This is where do you want it to save it to? I want it on my desktop so it's nice and obvious I don't forget it. And it's just going to save it as Windows 11, Windows. OK, so now the download is finished and it's just checking it and making sure that it's the download is a workable copy. OK, so there we go. You can see that the download has completed and it's checked it out and it believes it to be OK. So if you just want to check just to make sure, for instance, I've got it on my desktop here. So that is absolutely fine if we check the um, check the properties just to make sure that it is completed the download and it's an ISO file. And there we go. So the next stage is where we're going to download another piece of free and fantastic software that turns this ISO file into a bootable USB drive. And not only does it, stand, does it turn it into a bootable, a standard bootable USB drive, but it turns it into a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 for an older laptop. OK, so we have our Windows ISO file, our Windows 11 ISO file, and we have our old laptop. Now what we need to do is to download a piece of software called Rufus, and you can see it here, just going to Google and search for Rufus USB and this software will take that ISO file and what it will do is it will turn it into um, something that it will, it will create a USB stick that you can then put into your old Windows laptop and install Windows 11 on it. So it's really, really fast to download it. So I'm clicking on Win, uh, Rufus 3.20 and you can see that it's just downloaded and then it takes you through the setup guide and then you get this, um, this is where we kind of 
check all the options and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that it is that you've got your USB stick in. I've um, forgotten to do there. So there's the USB stick that I want. And then the next section is to tell it where to find the ISO file. So there it is on my desktop. You want this image option to stay at window, standard window selection. And then this partition scheme, you want GPT. Now GPT is a partition scheme that all modern computers use. And by that, I mean computers that have been made in the last 10 years or so. So we're going to leave that as GPT. And then you just leave all of these other format options as they, as they are and just click on the start button. And this here, you then get this um, lots of options here that Rufus is giving you. And these are all the hacks that enable Windows 11 to be, start, to be installed on an older laptop because it's removing some of the requirements from the kind of standard Windows 11 system. So as long as you've got the first two ticked and checked, then you should be fine. And I've also gone for the third one, which is all about disabling data collection, which just speeds up the process somewhat. And when you've really kind of checked all of those, ticked all of those, press OK, you'll get um, a warning about the USB stick will be wiped. And off we go. And this will take around 15 minutes to create this Windows 11 bootable USB stick. And there you go. And the next part, these applying Windows customizations. These are the hacks that enable Windows 11 to be installed on older laptops, laptops that Microsoft don't intend to have Windows 11 installed on. And we're nearly there. And there we go. A USB stick has a copy of Windows 11 on it and it's ready to be plugged into an old laptop and for Windows 11 to be installed on that old laptop. So here we go. I've got my USB stick with Windows 11 installed on it and I've got the Dell Latitude 3350. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through installing Windows 11 onto this laptop. I just pressed the F12 button there and got it to boot from the USB stick. So this laptop um, has got an i5 fifth generation processor in it. It's got uh, an SSD as opposed to um, an older hard disk drive and it's got eight gigabytes of RAM.
Okay, so the first thing here, this is all about the languages, the time and currency, and the keyboard. So they're all set to the UK, which is fine by me. I'm just going to accept Microsoft terms. I'm just going to pause this whilst I delete these parts. Okay, let's click on next. And this is a bit where the files are transferred between the USB stick onto the laptop, the installation files. Okay, so all the file swapping's been done. We're just about to enter our first restart. Now, when I installed Windows 11 on a Latitude E6420, which has got an i7 processor in it, but it's only a second generation one, processing time took, sorry, the installing time took around 40 minutes. So it'll be interesting to see how this mashes up. Okay, so it's time to sort out my region. Go with the United Kingdom keyboard. I'll skip another keyboard. I'll just pause here to put my Wi-Fi in. So it's successfully connected to my Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. Now I'm just going to name the device. Okay, so I'll just set it up as if for personal use. I'll just do my sign in details. So I've signed in successfully. I'll just create my pin. It's accepted my pin. I'll just skip these customizations. I don't want to back up with OneDrive. And I don't want Microsoft 365. Neither do I want their Game Pass. Fantastic, so there we go. Windows 11 has been successfully installed. We can see there that the display driver is obviously working perfectly. We've got the Wi-Fi working, so it all looks good. And that install time was about 17 or 18 minutes 
with that strange, it almost repeated the first part of the installation over again. So that was a that was a little bit strange, but apart from that, everything went smoothly. Now what I am going to do is I'm quickly going to do a restart, or I'm going to shut it down, and then start it up because I'm I want to know. I want to know how quickly it will start up. Okay, so here we go. I've got my got my stopwatch ready to go. Now, when I did this, when I measured the startup time on the Latitude E6420, it had a startup time of about a minute. But wow, look at that. That startup time is about 20 seconds. So that's really impressive. <laughs> 